Hey guys, so what I'm going to do is a quick Barrows guide and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to film 50 chests and what the loot that I get from 50 chests and I'll price check everything at the end and that will be what this video entails. So for this guide, what personally what I like to use is uh, full void so I haven't got the uh, the elite void I've just got normal void um, rage fire boots always use a ring of wealth at barrows now always uh, Saradman's hiss and mage cape um, that's pretty much all you need and it's not even risking that much the, the most I'm risking really is my boots not that it's very dangerous nowadays anyway um, but yeah, I uh, use Staff of Light for my weapon, for Virag, Torags, Guthin and Darok, and then for Arims and Carol, Arim and Carol, I use my Kertic Rapier and Offhand Drag or Rapier and Void Melee Helm. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the the equipment that I use. Um, as for inventory, I have one extreme magic, one extreme defense. You don't even need them, if I'm honest. Uh, just leftover pots that I have. I don't really even use any supplies at all at Barrows. Um, just a little bit of food occasionally if Torags or Carols hits me, but soul split normally sorts that out um so yeah um and then food i just use monks or anything that i've got left over as for my ability bar you have to have impact that's pretty much um how you do barrows these days you stun them with impact and then just blast them with your basics until you get up to a asphyxi asphyxiate sorry and um, yeah that pretty much KOs them um, so I have rack sonic wave dragon breath combust impact wild magic and asphyxiate and then for my auto attacks I have all four elemental blitzers um so yeah each each one's different weak to a different thing and then carol is weak to stab and arim is weak to arrows i believe and obviously i've got regenerate there as well um for that extra life point bonus um so what i shall do now is i will put up a picture on the screen and it'll be a map of how to get to Barrows. Um, there's three three ways um, how to get to Barrows. There is running from Canifis Bank down through Mortmire Swamp until you get to the boat and then take the boat to Morton and then run from Morton to the Barrows. The second option is uh, your fairy ring like what I'm going to do and you I believe you need fairy tale part 2 started to use the fairy rings and yes I'm a noob I have to still use my dream and stuff because I haven't I haven't finished it yet um, but I'm not a quester I really don't like quests so so yeah you take the fairy ring from Xenaris to Mortmire Swamp I think the Uh, the code is BKR and that takes you to near the boat and then you run run south through Mortmire Swamp to the boat and take the boat from the swamp to Morton and then run to the Barrows and the third option which is the quickest option is teleporting using Drakan's ring but I don't really know anything about that because I haven't done the quest um, all I know is it, it teleports you pretty much basically there um, so it's super super quick banking and 
that's it. But I don't really need to bank a lot because I don't use any supplies whatsoever. So it's just basically when I get bored, I leave. <laughs> so, so yeah. So now I shall... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, I shall go down there and do a quick run and then I shall show you 50 chests. This is probably going to be quite a long video. Yeah, just run, run south, run south. Uh, down, just run along with these hedges, down these hedges, until you can get through the hedge and the boats, the swamp boats, waiting for you. Board the swamp boat, and this little thing will come up. And we're in Morton, and then you just run east over the bridge, and you're pretty much at Barrows. You don't even need um, a spade anymore, they have spades above on the top of the mounds now. So yeah, so this is the order I go in. I go Aaron's first. Um, so I've got just normal two-handed dual wield um, ability set up, and I soul split and turmoil, and then kill. Doesn't take much with these at all. Aaron's weak to arrows, but I just. Dry goring and chaotic rapier, so it's just quicker. That's one dead, and then I move. If you move from mound to mound as quick as possible, so you keep your adrenaline, because it does run down pretty pretty quick. Um, oh, Carol Tunnel. There we go. So a quick change to that, and. Torag is weak to water, so in fact I'll pot up and then I shall show you. So you click on the crit and then impact and it stuns them in place. And then you just use your basic abilities until they're dead. Torag's the only one that it doesn't really last very long on. All the others, it seems to last a lot longer. Uh, Verak is weak to earth. And impact, there we go. It stuns the rest of them for a lot longer than it does Torag. I don't know if that's something to do with his special ability or what, but see, these, these just, it lasts for ages on these. And um, it's not even ice blitz, it's just impact. And Derek is weak to fire, so use blood fire blitz. Um, oh, now impact, there we go. And then just use asphyxiate on him. There we go, that's Derek dead. And then I just have Guthin left, which is, who is weak to air. So Gale Blitz for him, and that's that. Impact, there we go. If you can even just go diagonally and they still can't hit you. So, and then Asphyxiate, and that's, he should be dead now. Yeah, and then I change back to my Rapiers, quick tab, to my melee ability bar. I use regenerate just to get that little bit of HP back up. Yes, I am fearless. Go down there. Right. So there will be doors and it'll go it'll go either clockwise or anti-clockwise and you just have to keep following them around. Following them round, following them round until you get to the door for the chest room. In fact, 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my adrenaline up so when I have to fight Carols I can just bang an assault on him and it will pretty much drop him in one um, and it gets my kill count up as well I only normally use I don't go for a stupid amount of kill count I use three kill count and that's enough just to get bloods and bolt racks and that's it um, definitely use ring of wolf though got this one's all the way around the other side yep just as I suspected knowing that I'm doing a video it would end up being the furthest one away hey guys sorry about that I had to go um, my mum happened to be downstairs and she just came out of the kitchen and started talking to me so I killed Carol just there, walked through here, opened the chest and just my luck I get a drop but not on camera. Um, I got mine runes, restore pots, bolt racks and in offhand, hang on I shall price check, I believe that it is about 2 mil. Oh 1.5 mil, there we go, nice drop, there we go, so 1.5 mil drop. So. That's it guys, if you don't, when you're opening the doors, if the brother that you haven't slain doesn't come and attack you while you're opening the doors, once you do the puzzle door, which is fairly easy puzzle doors, there's only about three that you have to do, and it's fairly simple, um, come through this door, and as soon as you click open the chest, the brother will spawn in this area, and you kill them before you can search the chest. And then once you're done, you simply just run back round to the rope, climb up the rope and start everything again. If you have the Draken's Ring, just teleport to the start again and that's it. You're done. So that was my first chest. I will, I will use that as my first chest. And I got an offhand pistol. Alright guys, I shall... In fact, I'll make this a separate video to the 50 chests and so I'll, I'll upload this one and then i'll upload the 50 chests one because this is quite a long video all right guys cheers